how have you kept inspiration since there are no places to do public painting or to sell artwork outdoors or interact with people? Yeah, well, I feel like, um, so I really started to focus in on my podcast and reaching out to people and talking about the pandemic. It was helping that helped me. So I, I did, I used the pandemic as kind of inspiration with just, just making connection with people, you know, because you, you feel so isolated that it's like, I, you know, I, I don't know. Um, but I felt like it was a gift <laughs> that I had time because mm -hmm. I, I, my calendar, if, you know, left, left to my own devices, I would literally fill my calendar up to the point that I have no time to paint, you know, like I'll, I'd be tattooing, doing pumpkins, you know, like, it's just like, there's, I'm never working on my own projects. And so I felt like it was like a sign. It was like, okay, it's time to start working on these projects that are staring at you in your house, you yeah. know? So I really took that advantage of that and I made, a, so that painting that I showed you, the green one, I started a seven part series where I'm doing a painting for each of the chakras. So like that, those colors, you know, the colors of the rainbow and um, just focusing on each color and each energy center and a little bit of like symbolism and stuff like that going on. And so. you, you started a series meaning just that you're going to, I mean, is it something that you're putting out or are you, are you filming it? Like, how are you, how are you making this series? I want to be able to be shown in a gallery. Like okay. I, I want to have a body of work that I can pitch to a gallery and say, Hey, look, um, this would be a good show. It has a theme, you know, why don't you put it up sometime? <laughs> and okay. see if they can pay you, you know? So, yeah. And you also said that you were making connections through the podcast. How are you going about that? Like, are you reaching out to people or are you just, yeah. okay. Cause I've, I know that I've listened to some of it and I wasn't sure if you, um, I mean, li I've listened to the, uh, the most couple of recent ones. And, oh, that was just me. Yeah. Right. That's what I was asking. Cause I was like, <laughs> do, do you reach out to people? I didn't get to delve into it as much. So how do you reach out to people when you're, when you're looking for artists to talk to, or is it only artists that you talk to on the show? I talk to everybody. I, I get a lot of writers. I had a, um, a person who was a baker. I've been trying to get a female comedian. That's oh. those, those are hard to keep, you know, I have a couple of bites, but the, the follow through is hard. So yeah, no, that's what, um, and I've kind of burnt out on the podcast. Cause I feel like you ask for every like 10, seven to 10 people you ask, you might get like three people mm -hmm. reply. Right. Yeah. And so, and then I use almost every single podcast. I always feel like we get good material, it, but it's just a lot of work, the editing, Yeah, you know, cause we don't want it to sound, we don't do, I don't do it live and you don't want to sound like there's parts where I'm like, Oh my God, I forgot the question that I'm even asking you. Like, uh -huh. you know? <laughs> so, um, but a lot of times I find people on Instagram that I follow, like there's certain artists that I'm like, I love their work and I'll just take a stab in the dark oh, yeah. and see if they'll talk to me. And they say, yes. And so I'm like, stoked you know yeah no i love email. people aren't aware i don't think of all the people that i email that i don't tell anyone about like there are yeah. so many artists where i'm just like i'm gonna email and see if they reply sometimes they have and sometimes you just i never expect to hear back you know right i've even had ones yeah. where i'm like oh it was so close like we almost had something set up and then they were like oh i can't do it and then you try to reschedule and then it's like no more co communication you don't hear from yeah. them ever again which that's fine. You know, I was, I was kind of yeah. psyched just to get that email to begin with. What kind yeah. of opportunities have you, uh, you know, gotten into, or have you been able to get by reaching out to these people? Like meeting people <laughs> is also networking is a big thing that I've learned. Oh, and, and the in-person thing. Yeah. It's easy. Sometimes it is easier in person, like at a live paint thing, you know, I could be like, someone else you know some other painter will come up to me and be like wow i never thought about doing painting live i'm like oh you're a painter you have a card you know so like i'm always like you know my head's on a pivot like i'm like podcast you know uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. but um uh but i reached out to i was watching a tv show on netflix and it was a design an interior design competition last year and there was a woman who went to law school but decided that she didn't want to pursue law anymore and she wanted to be a designer and so she went on this show that sounds familiar and, yeah i know so i was like oh my god i'm totally reaching out to her and i was like she's never ever gonna reply to me yeah. and she's like sure i'll do it and oh. i was like what <laughs> so like, I'm like somebody is on tv yeah it's gonna be on my podcast so like that was really fun when was and that I, 
that was last, it was around last Christmas, like last um, December, probably second week of December. Yeah. And now you guys vacation in the Hamptons together and your best friends? <laughs> no, but I follow her on Facebook and I like, you know, I, I play a part of her audience. I don't know if she plays as much about as part of my audience, you know, right. but like, yeah, so. Oh, that's really cool. I, I think that's, I mean, those, that's the type of thing that uh, just reaching out to people can achieve. I mean, even just getting to meet someone, I mean, it, it's cool just to, if you went to a live event or like say saw a musician perform live that you really love, even if they stopped and said hello to you, that's awesome. You know? And so yeah. actually getting to sit down and talk with someone, you know, that's, that's fantastic. You got to do that. Yeah. 